Hey Scrappers, Moose here. So this video is going to be on uh, scrapping some remote controls. This is a viewer request. Um, so first and foremost, remote controls, these are something that I never scrap. Um, number one, that there's so little in it and so often it takes so long to get to the middle of them. Um, so I typically um, don't bother scrapping them. However, if you want to scrap them, there are some very rare ones that will have some gold plating in them. Um, but it's been my experience, that's like 1 in 20 at best. Um, you know, if you get these, the best thing to do is to somehow try and figure out if they still work and sell them on eBay. I mean, you can get, you know, 10 but I mean, some of them, some really like older ones I've seen get like 40 to $50 per remote. Uh, if they still work, so you know, even if they don't work, some people will buy them just for like the the buttons if they're not all worn out. So that's what we're gonna. That's what you know would be the best thing to do. But because this is a viewer request, I am going to take these two apart and we'll see what's inside. All right, so these buggers are usually pretty nasty. Um. There's almost always hidden screws somewhere, like, I don't see any other screw in there, so I have to try and pry it open, which is not always easy. You gotta be careful you don't hurt yourself. Knife because that would be dangerous. Yep, annoying. Alright. Rip snap. Okay. So here we go. We've got this. <laughs> we got nothing. The only thing that's on here is this one little IC chip. Um, the rest of this board, I mean, there's some tiny, I mean, you can't even see them on the camera, um, but they're like right here, the little LEDs, the light emitting diodes, those have some gold in them, yeah, but they're completely en encased in plastic, um, and they're so tiny and hard to get off that I'm not sure that anyone really does that. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's that for that remote. Plastic. And next we've got a Sony remote, which hopefully is a little bit higher end and maybe has something better inside. I think also the, the older the remote, the more likely you're going to find something of value in it. And the great reveal, nothing but another IC chip. Not even, not even any silver or gold plating, nothing. Just one tiny, tiny IC chip. You see it? This one does not have the little LEDs on it. It just has this one big one, um, which doesn't really have any PMs in there that I can tell. Yep, nothing. So that's it. So that's it for the exciting uh, remote control scrap. We've got two remotes down um, with two IC chips and uh, quite honestly 
Um, I, I'm not even sure what these boards would, would be considered if they're even low grade. Because, uh, I mean, they basically have nothing on them. So, you can throw them in with your low grade board and, and see what happens. Uh, I'm sure that scrap yards probably wouldn't catch you know, tiny boards like that. But that's it. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for the uh, suggestion. And um, you know, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Uh, to make sure you get notifications of, uh, of my videos when I put them out. Um, you know, as I mentioned before, I'm trying to uh, be a lot more active on YouTube. So, getting you guys you know, what you want to see. So, thanks again for watching. See you later.